Chris, my brother, CFP Expansion Talk. And last week, we, we kind of waited a little bit on this to figure out whether or not Cincinnati would be able to beat Notre Dame. They did, uh, rather convincingly. I, we can say that, I guess. I don't know. My question to you, how quickly do we get this 12-team playoff back on track? How quickly do these presidents and chancellors and ADs, etc., how quickly do they pivot back to a 12-team model if we end up with two SEC teams and an AAC team and whoever else, or two SEC teams and, dare I say, two Big Ten teams in this? If we only have the two major conferences or uh, two from one major conference and somebody like Cincinnati in, how quickly do you feel like they get these talks back on the table? So I think the talks are going to get back on the table immediately, even if we don't get that, just because somebody's going to realize them basically cutting off their nose to spite their face is the dumbest thing they could possibly do. All of these conferences stand to make substantially more money if they expand this thing to 12, and it's better for their brands and their conferences because pretty soon they're all going to be left out of the conversation. Right now, today, the ACC is left out of the conversation because nobody believes that even if an undefeated Boston College or Wake Forest they're just not going to get in, okay? It, nobody thinks that anybody in the Pac-12 is getting in. So that they're already eliminated from this thing, and they're fools to fight it just just to be assholes. Yeah, first week of October, and basically we've got two major conferences already out, and if Oklahoma were to lose this weekend, I, I doubt anybody believes that Oklahoma State is going to go undefeated. So at that point, we've got to we got to have a whole different conversation. It's easy to talk about how we're not going to move to twelve teams when we are in July, August, even September. But once you start, but I don't realizing, even understand the reasoning behind that. I don't understand the argument behind it. Though. Hurt, like that hurt it. feelings. Like the, well, but that's who's like you hurt my feelings. You made me mad. You did something that made me angry, and so I'm going to do something that's going to cost me a lot of money. Uh, like. I get, with hang you. on, now I get, I fully understand not wanting to do it, not wanting to expand if ESPN maintains full control because the ACC doesn't like their contract with them. The Big 12 and the Big 10 and the Pac-12 all have a strong relationship with Fox and, and Notre Dame has the relationship with NBC. I, I'm certain they all want more, more people to come to the table for this thing, and that would be... Like I, I've said this all along, I've been very consistent. That's the only thing I would I would protest against. That's the only thing that I would fight it against. Is I'm not agreeing to a 12 team playoff if ESPN maintains full control. I'm just not. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't disagree with that. What I disagree with is tabling the whole thing and not getting any kind of an idea set up. I understand that they've got time. I get that, but hey, we we need this thing done quicker. And, and there are ways to get around that contract, right? If you add playoff games, that doesn't necessarily have to constitute what ESPN has already paid for. And you can pressure ESPN with this as well. Like, there's ways to, to move in and change up that contract around. Uh, we'll see what happens. But Cincinnati winning against Notre Dame last week definitely changed the conversation, at least to me. You kind of feel the same way. Like I said, no, I don't. I don't know that Cincinnati had anything to do with this. My feelings on this have been consistent, no matter who makes it. I can understand that. I can understand that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE, at Chris B G and Any, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.